Hey guys, what's up everybody? How y'all doing? It is uh, Saturday, it's like 10 in the morning and it is 86 degrees. Finally the sun's come out. We had a little bit of a low pressure, uh, a couple of them actually in the area, but I'm out here, man. I'm out in front of Honda Big Bike here in IT Park. I just bought a bike, man, I'm so excited. So I'm gonna tell you a little bit about uh, the buying process here in the Philippines. It's really different from any kind of buying experience that I've been around, definitely different than the United States. So the first thing is trying to find the bike in stock somewhere. Man, it can be a really challenge, you know, especially since the pandemic, there's been supply issues. Um, you know, just now, after about a year and a half of being here, I'm seeing Honda ADV 160 on the floor. Those are like impossible to find all throughout the Philippines. So step one really is just finding a bike with inventory. The other step is once you actually get the bike there, um, the bike's actually got to go through a little bit of a clearance before it's available to sell. So the bike arrives in the shop, the dealership will send the VIN number, the chassis number and all that out to the LTO office. And then, then, then the bike's really able to sell. So once all that's happened, the next stop is really just kind of buying the bike, right? So um, you could do, with this, with this particular shop here, they allow you two ways to purchase the bike. You could do a bank transfer or you can pay cash, right? So I don't really have the 400,000 in cash on me. Um, and it can take a little bit to do that. Remitly allows you to do um, a couple of hundred thousand at a time. Uh, so anyways, what I opted for is the bank transfer. And doing that with my bank account takes about four to five business days. So that's where we're at right now in the process. But man, I have to tell you, I'm so excited. New bike, um, really. That'll go through uh, mid next week. And then once the money part goes through, then you're still not done with it. You have a little bit of time. There's, they say anywhere from four weeks to eight weeks of registration with the LTO office. And during that time, you can't ride the bike. So even though you bought it, you took it home, you've got the new bike, you still can't ride it. And depending where, where you're at, that may or it may not be an issue. Now here in Cebu City, um, I've talked about this a lot in a couple of other videos. It is a ticket happy city. I mean, there's a checkpoint right outside my house, right? Um, not so much for registration stuff, but for making illegal turns. They just put in a, a uh, no left turn kind of area. But so they got little traps like that throughout. I myself have been pulled over, what, three or four times in the year and a half that I've been here. So, and all my buddies have gotten pulled over. My point is this until the bike's registered, it's actually illegal to drive it. And you don't really want to drive it. So I'm um, here, but that may vary depending on where you're at. What also varies is the time of the process it takes to register with the LTO office. Because that here in Cebu, you're looking anywhere from two weeks to two months. Just really kind of depends. So got the bike. Still going to be a while before. Hey, good morning. Still going to be a while before I can actually ride it anywhere, but really excited. Really excited for what this is gonna open up for me as I tour and explore the country. Um, I'll go into detail too, as far as why I purchased this bike, the reason behind it, and can kind of compare it to the other models that I was really looking at in another video. But I wanted to uh, just kind of, in this video, talk a little bit about the buying process. I'll make several videos about kind of the buying process as things progress, but new bike day, really excited. Back with more. Woo woo! Just got a call from the dealership. Bike's ready, man. The money went through. It's mine. I'm so excited. New bike day. The best day on the planet, right? New bike day. So going over to Honda now, pick up the bike. They uh, they already gassed it up. They got everything charged up. The bike's been looked over. So we're really going to go to the bike. Uh, go to Honda dealership now and meet with the mechanic there. We're just going to go through the bike really quick. So be right back. So excited. Okay, man. All right, so we just got the bike, man. Really, really excited. And uh, now we're outside. We're going to go kind of run over the bike really quick. So, yeah, yeah. Salam Kayo. Thank you so much. Yeah, so, yeah, tell me what you got going on. HISS, okay. So, their security system. Okay. And then the first one's a thousand. And then, when's the one after that? Is it every 3,000 or uh, uh, no, wait. 4,000 4, kilometers after? Yes, sir. Okay, cool. For example, if they can reach 1,000 kilometers, you can visit her for the. Uh, maintenance, just bring this order uh, one to the maintenance. Okay. Then after the 1,000, you can set a uh, maintenance for every 4,000 kilometers. Yeah, perfect. Yes, Thank you. Then
Hey, how you doing? Back here, got the bike behind me. I'm so excited, the bike's home. So when you, get it, when you take it from the dealership, you've got a day pass to ride it. So um, ride it like you stole it. <laughs> so I did, actually, I put almost probably 100 kilometers on it that day. I went all the way over to Volumbon and back. Technically, you're supposed to just go home uh, for that day. And then the registration process starts. So the registration process, again, it can take anywhere from two weeks to two months. Um, some guys just bought some scooters recently. They got theirs around two weeks. The big bikes, I don't know if it's any different or not, uh, but that's kind of where you're at right now. If you ride it before it's registered with the LTO office and you have your, um, your, your receipts there, your OR and CR, I think they're called, um, you can actually get the bike impounded. You get big fees. And here in Cebu City, where it's really, it's a ticket kind of happy city, um, you know, it's, it's probably not a risk to take. But yes, the bike is back. And actually today I ordered a bunch of accessories. So I got uh, panniers on here. I got a top box. I'm not a really big fan of top box, but I really need the storage. Also got a tank bag and, uh, oh, the center stand and a nine volt socket thing and to in total i think i've got 11, uh, 11 different accessories but yeah let's take a look and i'll uh start it up real quick and you can hear it, it sounds pretty good it's a really quiet kind of bike it's really not too loud really quiet kind of machine but oh i did like i said i rode it for about 100 kilometers up the up the trans central highway and it just just a great machine really really easy ride right i didn't shoot it all um while i was uh I didn't shoot it all while I was riding. I just wanted to focus on the ride, so. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, it's really, really great bike. Nice display, sounds great. Yeah, really, really good. It's quiet, actually, it's not too loud, which I, I, I like a quieter bike nowadays. I don't know, maybe we'll, we'll see what the aftermarket has for exhaust on there. Nice full exhaust, what might make it make come alive a little bit. But uh, yeah, I will do a lot of videos, obviously, on this bike being motor vlogger. Um, I'll be doing a lot of content from this bike. I'll do a full bike review. But really, uh, just wanted to give an update on the bike. And uh, this video is really about the buying process. So got it home and uh, now we wait. And this might be your uh, first encounter with developing the patience that's required to live here. So stay tuned for more. Be right back.